Hello friends, happy Friday. So I'm back live again to tell you a inspiring story. So today I have selected the story of um, uh, Kalpana Chawla, my personal hero. But before that, I want to share this beautiful happy news with you. So my second novel, um, Because I Love You, It's live in the paper format as well. So go check it and let me know how do you like it once you read it. So also if you want to order through me uh, as an author copy, do let me know. I'll send you my book uh, with my signature as I did with my first book. So very, very excited my friends for my book. And um, uh, as I said, I'm going to uh, read the dedication from my book. And um, I have an interview with my publisher, so I'm not going to uh, talk a lot about my book now. But uh, during the interview and uh, in subsequent uh, storytelling sessions, I'm going to talk about, um, you know, what inspired me to write this book as a whole. Um, from the series, the first, first book is already, you know, most of you, you have joined me later. I'm going to have uh, more sessions um, talking about the chapters and inspirations on those uh, characters, those imaginary characters, but you know, they have been inspired through the real life people. And uh, also each chapter I'll go uh, and then talk more and more and more about uh, um, the characters and um, the stories. So let me first read the dedication and hopefully you'll like it. So this book has been mostly dedicated to um, the crime and the crime world. And uh, during this COVID time, you know, where everything had set down, all the industries has gone down, but um, due to some um, miracle or whatever you want to say, um, I will say curse, the crime world has exceeded the expectations. They have still able to make uh, millions and billions of dollars doing, um, you know, uh, drug trafficking, human trafficking, and um, all kinds of crimes. So those things are where, um, you know, which were the crimes are on a high. Um, but, you know, these big um, criminals, the these big, um, you know, white collars, which, uh, you know, and these big shots, you know, who does all this dirty uh, business behind everybody's reach, they use simple, normal people very young you know man and woman and uh, uh, somehow these people they are got into their lure and um, the shining and uh, everlasting and singing world of uh, crime and uh, they're just stuck there um, but they have a choice and if if you're listening to me if you're watching me or if you watch in later or if you have somebody who has got into into those kind of world so for them, this book has been dedicated, my friends. And um, I really believe uh, what the Bible says, that hate the sin, not the sinner. So please, if possible, fight the crime against humanity, crime against anything, um, crime against life. Um, but, you know, you have, we have to give a um, second chance to the people who are got into this world. They are trying to come out. Um, so let me read the dedication and uh, let me know how do you like it so here I go so this book is dedicated to all the men and women involved with the dangerous realm of crime maybe you were lured into that world forced into it but never by choice so what I meant is if you're given a choice you definitely want to come out right so get the strength Ask for help. Come back. Come back home. Thanks, my friends. So, let me start the storytelling session. And, um, uh, you know, when I chose Kalpana Chawla, um, as I already told you that she's my personal hero, I had a thought, I, I, I thought a lot about it. Like, how, how should I present this? How, how I mean... The story of such a personality, such an inspiration, how should I say, 
how whom should I uh, you know uh, <laughs> hashtag right so this this um, inspirational personality is an inspiration not only to the woman uh, and, and uh, you know, inter this is an international name right this is an um, you know aer aer aerospace scientist um, aeronautic engineer whatever it's the inspiration of uh, ladies but also the young man and children who are aspiring to fly fly an aeroplane or um, fly a spacecraft right and Elon Musk is almost getting all these things ready for us so one day as um, uh, you know we all can you know whoever the license we can drive the cars like that one day maybe we will be driving and um, visiting the galaxies you know uh, we can you can go to um, the space and then um, we can just uh, have have some kind of um, uh, vacation in different planets you never know so um, let's start so Kalpana Chawla she was born on 1st July 1961 in Karnal Haryana India and um, to my surprise um, she opted for uh, an engineering on aerospace uh, it is in early 1980s so hats off to uh, Karnal Haryana that you allowed your daughters to get into engineering and those kind of fields aeronautics science and um, engineering was not that booming or uh, uh, not everybody could could get it right so um, after she finished her schooling in um, Tagore school uh, I'm going to talk about the Tagore school again but let, let me uh, move forward for right now so um, after she attended the Tagore school uh, where, where she did a fantastic it was she was she was a great student and very humble and gentle and all the teachers loved her everything good and um, uh, with her parents uh, enthusiasm and encouragement she joined the aeronautical engineering in um, um, Haryana College of Engineering um, she didn't stop there right I know she would have been getting a lot of marriage proposals her parents would have been worried about her marriage but she wanted to pursue uh, high studies and she came to United States of America and um, she did her MS actually she did double MS uh, it is from the uh, University of Texas in the same field aeronautic engineering and then she did her it was in 1982 and by 1986 she had she holded a PhD degree in uh, in aeronautic science and engineering and my friends she joined NASA okay and there she was into a research on um, so you know I'm, I'm, I'm not in that field so maybe those things are uh, really great and uh, something very very significant for that field something like um, fluid dynamics uh, and then like oh, when the small small range shuttles they uh, land or take off those kind of some kind of research she was doing so I didn't go through too much into detail um, just I wanted to know that okay she was into research and then what happened so um, she, did a, she did again you know a remarkable job there and then um, she applied for the cops and by 1996 she got into it and within a year she was selected to um, in a six member crew to travel space yay so first Indian woman Indian origin ever to you know visit the space so it was for 15 days and it was a successful and they did more than 30 exper uh, you know, experiments and uh, her experience was uh, I mean, it has been recorded everywhere because um, she was she, she was she was kind of a leader there right so my friends when she was back she did not stop working okay I got everything and she got married as well so her husband is mr. Jean Pierce um, Harrison American so um, everything was done right she, she has earned money she has her name and the rare field she's the leader in the rare field she got married and what else to do right sit on a couch watch TV enjoy popcorns uh, <laughs> what else to do but no my friends some some people who are gifted 
the way they think they imagine is totally different and my friends the name kalpana if you are not indian that means imagination that means idea and this girl she was a child of idea this is a child of imagination she was like whatever she used to imagine what are the ideas where she was to realize it so after she came back from her first space trip she continued her work and by 2003 she went for uh, the second trip the first trip which she went it was also with the shuttle um, columbia space shuttle columbia uh, sts i think it was um mm, 80 87 i am not I was just just maybe 87 and then in the second trip it was with the columbia again so everything was fine but you know the bad luck was knocking the door but i think nobody understood that um and uh, they prepared very well everything was ready she was ready to fly and um, they found some other the things was not working with the um, you know airspace the craft was some other issue but um almost by um by the time they were uh, you know preparing and everything got ready um it was um uh, space cut uh, sorry space shuttle um fix columbia sts 107 and uh, the news were everywhere everything was fine and the biggest news was kalpana chawla was the leading um she was she was the leader she was leading the mission all right so another clap my friends um everything went well they did their whatever experiment they wanted to know more than 80 experiments they did everything went well even the space walk they did um, due to some <laughs> emergency by the way everything went well but the day they were supposed to come back and that ill fated day what happened the the moment the rocket launched from coming back from the space to planet earth what happened that one of the wings uh, has created a hole and um, this hole i mean i don't know maybe the people who are regulating um, in in the station they would have known it but the thing is that if they let these people know that there is a hole there there can be a problem there can be you know an accident i don't think so uh, kalpana and uh, another uh, five crew members there was a specialist and they are from the different part of this world they could have done anything right so i think people already knew that this rocket was doomed that happened the same thing happened so when the rocket entered the atmosphere of earth this hot air they entered into inside the hole and um, you know depressurized the entire rocket and when that would have happened all this six crew members would have been dead right in few seconds right and um, just 16 minute before the spacecraft landed on earth um it blasted it exploded oh my god like like some kind of uh, you know uh, atom bomb explodes so anyways we already knew the moment uh, the space would have been depressurized every everybody you know all the members would have been dead so that's fine so ex- after the explosion um it was supposed to landed on uh, the kennedy space center i don't know where it had landed you know where this you know it was almost scattered all over the place maybe uh but somehow they identified the remains and uh, as kalpana has wished they have scattered her ashes on the you know uta park so thank you god for sending such a beautiful soul such an intelligent inspiring soul but um we have a complaint why do you do that why did you take those souls so fast mm. so anyways god has his own ways of doing things uh, she has inspired me a lot because um, you know whenever i feel very low i feel like um, i don't think so i can do this i think you know if i would have been a guy you know i would have been 
uh, better in those things especially you know things which is like outdoor stuff um, um, but I remember Kalpana Chawla because she never thought those things and then she, she was not a pilot right she was she, she, she was a uh, space traveler so just rest in peace Kalpana Chawla and um, thank you my friends who are watching my storytelling I love you all take care and I'll see you again uh, in my next storytelling session. Take care.